We are an operator of wireless internet services in airports around the U.S. Uh, currently operating 15 airports from Boston, Miami, LAX, San Francisco, and others uh, with an angle primarily these days on providing complementary service in response to what has become the number one request of airports from a, a customer service standpoint. People, for whatever reason, have come to expect having free Wi-Fi in their travels. Mm -hmm. And it's now, it's now made its way up to the larger airports where it's become, at least in the airports we speak to, the number one passenger complaint that they get. Mm -hmm. So as we see the tide in the U.S. airports continuing to shift towards free, I suppose it's logical to argue that the travelers who come to the U.S. and then go home to the other countries would probably demand it there. One of the things we've, we've always done is AWG is a company to differentiate ourselves. We, you won't see our branding on the airports that we run. We really position ourselves as the airport's partner operating the Wi-Fi service on their behalf. I think the next thing we're really seeing happen in the Wi-Fi space is the, is the cross, crossover between cellular data and Wi-Fi data. Uh, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of interest and a lot of buzz around the concept of cellular offlay, meaning that 3G and 4G services as we know it, 3G is certainly saturated, 4G is nice and fast today, but it will begin to reach a saturation point. The, the take rate or the demand growth for bandwidth in the next five years is 15 to 16 times today's capacity, driven largely by video whether that's people wanting to go to YouTube or Skype video chat with the kids. And so the, the cellular providers are, are clearly or keenly aware that there will be additional demand on their network. So the idea is then as you're driving up to the airport using that 4G network, as you enter the terminal, your connection will automatically shift off to Wi-Fi. Uh, without you knowing it, it's a seamless transition for you. So it's another driver for the ongoing need for Wi-Fi in airports. So.